I want to discuss a simple yet important key element to power. This will all also help a lot of those slicers out there, and that is grip pressure. A great drill to figure out exactly how hard or how tight you should hold your, your hands on the club is we're just simply going to count from 1 to 10. So as I do this, one is going to be this the lightest I can hold it where the club's almost slipping through my hands. Ten is going to be the tightest I can actually do this. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to count. One, two, three, four, five. My hands are getting a little tighter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you should be able to almost see the muscles in my forearms here bulging out. I'm trying to squeeze this club as hard as I can. Nine, eight, seven six, five, four, three, two, one, and feel your hands loose. The club should almost be slipping through. Two, three. Now waggle the club around. Somewhere around three, four, five, you will feel the club head and you'll feel it getting less able to move, if you will. It's going to start getting rigid. When I'm at 10, like this, the club doesn't, my wrist don't work. So back at one, the club's flopping around. Two, three, four right in this area is where you want to do it now each each individual is going to be a little bit tighter or different based on you know your strength and your capabilities but if you just simply do that little counting drill from one to ten you should be able to get the proper grip pressure somewhere between three and five where you can really feel the weight of the club head and allow the club head to swing on its own and that really is a key to hitting the ball farther and hitting the ball more accurate